of this interaction. Ta! Such cruel bluntness! How dare she speak that way about me! Well, maybe we're thinking about this all wrong. Since you're familiar, you might be less fairy and more devil. The losery devil, Pinkoon! <laughs> Something doesn't add up here. What's wrong, Katomi? It's... it's probably nothing. This shop sells all kinds of odds and ends. Shall we? A delusion scape. Shall we enter? It's a safe point. Shall we make use of it before moving on? Freaking Triceratops again! Hey, that guy seems pretty promising. Let's see if he can tell us anything about Pinkoon. Why him? Because he's fiddling around with those dinosaur gashapon machines. He probably knows a thing or two about dinosaurs. Excuse me, sir. Do you know anything about this little guy right here? I'm Pinkoon. Pleased to meet ya. Why? What are you? I'm a cute, pretty mascot. You can even say I'm pretty cute. Man, you can talk. And kind of fluently, too. Where'd you buy this thing? Oh, we didn't buy him. He's just... Uh... Ah, stray, huh? Hard to believe a creature like this can exist. Well, exist I do. Thank you for your time, sir. Saki? Copy, I am speaking directly to your mind now. Ugh, what is his deal? An alien freak. Might be into cryptids too, though. Let's see if he can tell us anything about Pink Coon. Um, excuse me. Can we talk to you for a second? <laughs> Who are you? Are you emissaries from Venus? What? Me? V Venus? Hey now, don't go repatriating us to other planets. We're Earthlings, thank you. Oh, that's right. Venus is also... a planet. <clears throat> uh, would you happen to know anything about this little guy? The pink has landed! What in the name of the Pleiades? They call me Coon. Pink Coon. Agent Double R Cute. Am I on TV? This can't be real. Oh, it's real, buddy boy! Are you the thing whose mind I was touching? You do seem potentially alien-esque, though of indeterminate origin. Hey! Nobody touches my mind but me. You couldn't handle my mind. Well, to answer the lady's question, then, I don't know what you are. You're like some kind of mothman, perhaps? That or a chupacabra, or maybe the corpse of a basking shark? In other words, you don't have a clue. The truth is not out there. Though this guy sure is. Let's try someplace else, Skyfish. I'm no fish, Dingus. Get bent. So, what have we learned about your true identity today? That's what I'd like to know. You really do want to know, don't you? Huh? Of course! Why wouldn't I? Um, Pinkoon, have you ever wanted to meet your parents? 
I've... actually never thought about it. Really? Never? I'm happy just being with you, Saki. Wow. Well, thanks, I guess. So make sure you always, always, always stay with me forevermore, okay? Forevermore, huh? Saki? is about to happen to us. Old games! Get your old games here! Tiny plastic rectangles! Relive your childhood in low definition! Dude, think they've got anything good? Come on, let's go check it out. Haven't grown up at all, have you? You always did love your games. I didn't hear you taking that holier-than-thou attitude back in the day. We played everything together, remember? There was that really kick-ass one we used to play with Hosky all the time, even. What was it called again? Man, when it comes to non-essential life skills, your memory is fantastic. I don't remember that at all. Childhood friendship credentials revoked. A tragedy, to be sure. So what is it you're hoping to find here anyway? One of those ninja ones or a samurai fighter? But don't tell me it's the one where you sneak around as a thief. Aha! Uh -huh. So you do remember it! Only because it was so weird. You were the only kid in school who played that kind of stuff. I mean, sure it was kind of fun, but it wasn't exactly grade schooler material for most kids. Of course not. You were way too cool for that. But Hazuki, she knew how to have fun. Hey, that's right! Hoski's out of the hospital now, isn't she? Let's get her a game to celebrate her recovery. Huh? What? Why is that strange? No real reason. It just feels kind of weird to play games when the world is the way it is. Hey, it's important to take a breather every once in a while, regardless of how loopy time may be. Classic Asahi. Yeah, I guess I could do with a nice change of pace. And Hazuki would definitely appreciate it, I'm sure. Let's hurry up and pick a game. I think that beef one you mentioned would be perfect. But isn't that a single player game? Shouldn't you go for something we can all play, like Super Crash Sisters? Well, you know, any port in a storm. Though, wait, Hazuki was crazy good at SCS, wasn't she? We should get that. Can't believe they didn't have it. Has the word common lost all its meaning? That was just one place, Asahi. And this is Akihabara. We'll find it at the next one for sure. Oh, of course. I'm not giving up. This is a job for Super Potato. To the side streets. There's not a moment to lose. siblings data who would name a game store something like this anyway I just hope they have what we're looking for they totally do had it in stock last time I checked anyway sold out Last one just walked out the door. What the hell kind of luck is that? Hey, don't sweat it. It's the thought that counts, right? Did you pick up anything at all? Sure did. Got bit by the nostalgia bug. Remember this one? It's one of those panel-shifting puzzlers. Oh, I totally do. But most of those memories are vague and angry because it was so freaking hard. <laughs> you always used to give up halfway through the levels and have me beat them for you. Good times. I remember that, except weren't the rules reversed? 
Weren't you the one doing all the rage quitting? Was I? Yeah, 